Even a continuing coverage of that explosion in Columbia County, people in Cambria are remembering the three men who died this week in the explosion at Diddy and Milling. They are mourning 21-year-old Paul Tordoff, 27-year-old Duel Block, and 52-year-old Robert Goodnow. Tordoff was found yesterday. Block and Goodnow were found Thursday. Diddy and officials and investigators still trying to figure out what caused that explosion at the corn mill plant. They say it is not related to a fire at that facility on Monday. While continuing their investigation, they say they've set up counseling and expanded assistance programs to help their workers cope with what happened. So we are uh, in continuous contact. Vice President of Operations Derek Clark says Diddy and has every intention of resuming operations at that plant, but no timeline has been set. Officials say the nearby ethanol plant could be running again in the near future. Meanwhile, nearly 1,200 Democrats turned out for their state convention in Middleton, with many saying they are fired up and ready for 2018. Capitol Bureau Chief Greg Newman has more on the party's optimism and energy coming on the heels of his most devastating defeat. It was right here at the mayor. A judge has stricken down a so-called cookie ban that has been keeping Wisconsin bakers from selling their homemade treats. Lafayette County judge has found a state law unconstitutional that bans people from selling homemade baked goods without a license. It's a win for three women who filed a lawsuit against the state hoping to boost their farm businesses with baked goods. The difference is attorneys for the state called for a stay in the judge's ruling, which will be considered in several weeks. A spokesperson for the Department of Justice tells us the agency is concerning, considering whether to file an appeal to a higher court. Picture your favorite shopping mall. It could be gone in the next five years. That's according to a new report. It estimates that a record 8,600 stores will close this year alone, and 20 to 25 percent of shopping malls in the U.S. will close within five years. That would be an unprecedented plunge. We've all heard the reasons why, though. People, of course, are shopping online more than ever, and too many stores created a retail bubble that's now bursting. The same report suggests online sales will grow from their current 17% of retail sales to 35% by 2013. Now, that was the first time we've heard from the Wyland family publicly. They tell us they want to keep doing outreach to keep his memory alive. In Columbia County, the community is still shaken by that corn mill explosion. First responders still on the scene dealing with the aftermath. And the Didion Milling Company says it's committed to finding the cause of that devastation. While dealing with something so tragic, last night the community had a reason to look forward. 23 Time now 735 and London is waking up to heavier police presence this morning. Less than two weeks after a suicide bomber attacked Manchester. Two attacks last night and just into our newsroom, we've learned the death toll has risen to seven and 48 others are hurt. The attack began late Saturday night in two places on London Bridge and at a nearby market. Police say three suspected assailants have been killed. Riley Carlson is in London with the latest. We've learned tonight's concert to benefit the victims of the Manchester suicide bombing will go on as planned. One Love Manchester will be broadcast in 40 countries across five continents, while viewers are encouraged to make donations via text message. All proceeds will go to the We Love Manchester Emergency Fund that's set up by the Manchester City Council and the British Red Cross. It will feature performances by Ariana Grande, Justin Bieber, Katy Perry, Miley Cyrus, and Pharrell Williams. The three-hour concert will air on ABC stations after the NBA Finals. President Trump has responded to the attack. He used the opportunity to call for support of his plan to block immigrants from six Muslim-majority countries, writing, we need to be smart, vigilant, and tough. We need the courts to give us back our rights. We need the travel ban as an extra level of safety. Trump's travel ban has been blocked by several federal courts. After several minutes passed, the president offered condolences to Britain, writing whatever the United States can do to help out in London and the UK. We will be there. We are with you. God bless. White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer said Trump had been briefed on the situation by his national security team. For the first time, we're seeing the hand-painted portraits of the 49 people killed inside the Pulse nightclub in Orlando. 49 artists from across the country created them for the exhibit at Orlando City Hall. A Georgia art professor came up with the idea as a way to help families heal as the first anniversary of that shooting approaches. Really, that's often underestimated. 
The portraits feature a range of media from chalk drawings, paintings, to even embroidery. The portraits will be on display until June 14th. After that, they will be given to the victims' families. And as the city of Madison is struggling with an uptick in gun crimes, people across the country and right here in Wisconsin are wearing orange, all to support those affected by gun violence. A Wisconsin man whose daughter was shot and killed tells David Johnson why prevention is so important. I really don't want any. The Wear Orange event was inspired by friends of Hadia Pendleton. She was a 15-year-old high school Chicago student who was shot and killed back in 2013. The time right now is 740 and a grand opening is bringing hundreds of jobs to Rock County. Hundreds of employees and their families packed the New Dollar General Distribution Center in Janesville yesterday for a special ribbon cutting ceremony. House Speaker Paul Ryan toured the 100 million square foot facility welcoming the 75 year old company right into his community. This is fantastic. This is part of our plan here in Rock County, in James Beloit area, to bring jobs, good family sustaining jobs right here. Those jobs are expected to grow from roughly 500 positions to 2,000 over the next few years. This morning, we take a closer look at that plant and show you how one family is celebrating those new jobs coming to the area. Wow, Andy, what's that? We're at the front. As you can see, it go, this is one of those aisles that we're only supposed to go a certain ways. Of a certain new job. I'm proud of the facility, proud of what we've been able to accomplish here. So what kind of products would be in these? And proud to show dear old dad. And this is where we start. A job his son adores. You know, everybody's a hero. They should be proud of what, they're, what they do, and it's kind of cool to be able to, for the family members to see what people do. Because there is so much. The Janesville Dollar General Hub will serve about 800 stores in nine states in the upper Midwest. A new tradition may be brewing in Nashville. How Predators fans are celebrating the W in Stanley Cup Finals. It's 7.50. You're watching Wake Up Wisconsin Weekend.